Here's my calculation challenge for you. What is the length of this bent pipe? You can see it's carefully bent to 90 degrees. I'll show you. And uh, it's got some straight sections on it. I need an answer how long this one is in uh, how about millimeters? That's straightforward enough. Of course, it works the same way in inches if you like fractions. Well, let me show you how this one works. It's a 90 degree bend because it fits the square rather nicely. And if we look at the numbers, it has uh, here I wrote these ones down. We've got an 87 millimeter straight leg here and a 162 millimeter straight leg here. And then we have some pipe that's here. We know that it's a square corner here. Not only that it fits the square, it also matches the numbers. Here where the bend starts going away from the pipe, it's the 155 millimeter mark there, 140, 150, 155. And the same on, on this one, the bend starts at 155 there. So we know that this turn could be described as a 155 by 155 turn. The diameter of the pipe is exactly 16 millimeters. My question is, because this is how your blueprints are uh, given you, you're going to have a straight part, you're going to have the turn described there, and you're going to have to make it out of a straight piece of pipe. So how long should that straight piece be? I need the length of this one accurate to one decimal digit of a millimeter, one-tenth of a millimeter. Now, you know that it's not possible to measure it. One-tenth of a millimeter is way too fine to read it on a tape measure that you can curve around like, like this one or paper or anything of this sort. It's, it's, there's no way you can accurately read one-tenth of a millimeter on this one. It's impossible. I need a calculation. Figure it out. Let me know.